it, my dad's dog is ERC. <laughs> hey, make sure to like the video, because I know you already like it.
Alright guys, we made it back to the house. Before you guys start commenting what the hell is up with this trailer, we do got new fenders in the backyard that we're gonna be installing on this trailer. So we ended up flushing the motors in Mathis and Hammocks so my neighbors don't get upset with us at 8 o'clock at night. Even though I have some cool neighbors, we're, st we're still a little respectful. We still gotta be a little respectful, right? Back in the yard she goes. She did 125 today. We were having some water pressure issues. I think it's time to change the impellers. You know how it is. It's always something. But at least she did 125. And she cruised at 110, 111 with no issues. All right. Here's the checkmate. Got her looking pretty. When I was coming back from Caribbean Club, on my last, on Saturday, I was running her real hard and she started misfiring. And I figured out why she was misfiring. Look at this plug. I hope you can see it in, and now I have it stuck in here. So I had a broken plug that was making a misfiring issue. I'm also working on this jet ski. I'm gonna be painting it. So stay tuned for those videos. Please like and comment down what you think. It's always a mission, we have way too many boats. In the next few weeks, you're gonna be seeing me working on this 22 Liberator that I gotta get done already. This is one of my dad's boats that we're building. Why do you have to get out of here? Alright guys, thank you for watching. Bye. A Labor Day weekend tragedy after a boat crash left nearly a dozen people injured. Our Lady of Lords Academy in Southwest Miami-Dade releasing a statement that read in part, It is with the heaviest of hearts that I write to you this afternoon to inform you that one of our seniors, Lucy Fernandez, passed away earlier today following injuries sustained during a boating accident yesterday evening. The statement went on to send heartfelt condolences to her family and friends she leaves behind and recognizes Fernandez for her smile, larger-than-life personality, and her faith. Fernandez was on a boat carrying 14 people Sunday evening, which hit a navigational buoy in the water near Boca Chita Key, according to Coast Guard officials. The impact causing three people to be thrown into the water. Multiple agencies, including FWC officers, Miami-Dade Police, and Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, responding to the scene. Police arrived first and pulled people out of the water. Uh, the people that were, some of them were critical, they were taken to uh, Elliott Key Island where air rescue landed. First responders taking some of the victims over to Black Point Marina, where they were triaged and checked out. 11 of the 14 on board suffering injuries ranging from minor to critical, including four who suffered traumatic injuries and had to be airlifted to Jackson South Hospital from Elliott Key. And so the names and ages of some of those victims, the other victims have not yet been released. We are working to get the latest condition of their updated uh, condition of how they're doing right now in the hospital. Once we get any more information, we will be sure to let you know. We're here in Southwest Miami-Dade. I'm Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News. Okay, Joseph.